Hi all, hope you're all well. Before I uh, bring you the Hike Micro TE19C, I'm going to sneak in a cheeky video out of order because I've got to have an accompanying video for my next Egg on World article, which is a very thorough comprehensive review, including sound measurement, filter weighing and much more of the Hill EC3000, the uh, 300 bar Hill compressor. I'll be finishing that review this afternoon and, and typing it up and before that the very kind folk at Hike Micro and Elite Optical have sent me and Bruce a Hike Micro Panther PQ50L. This really is the mutts nuts. This is the top of the range 50 mil 640 by 512 scope with 18650 battery and with an built-in laser rangefinder which displays on screen about here on distances on the recordings so i'd received this filmed the unboxing instantly and then got a call from a friend carl saying oh there's loads of rats near the stables do you want to come and uh, pop some rats quickly threw this in in the car with my uh, fx streamline bottle pop and the, the zebroya kozak which i'm just reviewing before we went out with the help of Simon, thanks again from Elite Optical, I upgraded the firmware to the latest version, which improves the laser rangefinder, improves zeroing, and I'll bring you the details on that in the full review. Got it quickly zeroed just at 20 yards because that's the range the rats were going to be at. This fella was a doddle to zero, just fired into a sheet of wood and glowing white holes in white hot mode. No problem at all, quickly zeroed. I had a scan of the field where we were doing the zeroing and start off I thought, hmm, this isn't fantastic quality. And then Carl pointed out that the lens cap was uh, half closed. Open the lens cap out and woohoo, hey presto. Very, very impressive high quality thermal image. And I ranged some rabbits and livestock, but mainly rabbits out to sort of a couple of hundred meters superb such a quality image all the usual modes white hot black hot fusion and red hot are uh, possible so here i'm standing up leaning back against the tailgate of carl's 4x4 with the uh, pq50l you can press the button each time you want to range or if you through the menu if you set it on automatic ranging uh, it'll when you press the button ranging button it'll then range constantly for about 12 or 13 seconds and yeah it it does what it says on the tin it ranged rabbits and trees and anything else I pointed it at out to several hundred meters I think the, the maximum range I got with this was 400 meters but then that's that's where we were you know so superb quality I think I'll join uh, Carl with my rimfire rifles at some point for some bunny action on this permission. So, here we are, 20 past 9 at night. I'm out with Carl, and earlier on this afternoon, underneath that container I'm just looking at, there were rats running around in broad daylight, six feet away from people. So, we've come back after dark. Uh, there's wood chip on the right, nice and clear with the thermal. This is me recording from a Pulsar Quantum Light XQ30V. Have a quick once around the farmyard. Shed on the left, obviously tractor, very clear. And there's Carl, give us a wave. <laughs> Here I am set up at 25, 27 metres from the glowing biomass boiler that really lights up in the thermal, which, whichever colour palette I chose. Sadly, the, we learned the hard way that the rats stay undercover in the warmth, in the, in the den underneath it, when it's cold outside. So, lesson learned. But one of my farmers called me yesterday to say he's got some uh, rats in the in the seed store in uh, permission about i've got about a mile and a half from here two miles away so i'm planning to visit that tonight with the panther pq50l zeroed at 30 meters on my fx maverick 177 fac and then bruce is going to be using 
this fella on his foxing rifle and compare it to his TQ-50C. Once he's got his first hand experience and I've used it for pest control, short range on uh, rats and feral pigeons, longer range on rabbits, then we'll record our man cave review and bring you the full rundown on this beauty. So all to come. But right now I took this round to Bruce's just to give him a first look at it and he showed me a little extra accessory he's got for his Hike Micro TQ50C. So I'll just show you that right now. Hello viewers, this is a little short for you, a little bonus one on the Hike Micro Thunder TQ50, which is Bruce's. What have you found, Bruce? Well, what I found is, uh, well, what I found was that the battery life with the standard CR123A batteries is quite short. Right. Uh, it's about 1 hour 40, 1 hour 45 runtime. Yep. If you're using it as in the rifle scope mode with the gun and you're not switched on all the time, you're just switching on for the shot, then it's not a big issue. But if you're using the thing in spotter mode where you've got it on all the time, then you've either got to carry a power bank with you or a bunch of spare batteries because the batteries don't last very long. Another solution is, one something I've just found from the United States, is a 3D printed battery extender from a company called Apex 3D. Okay. And what you get when you order up one of these is you get this 3D printed extender housing, battery extended housing. Right. You get screws, you get a small screwdriver and an allen key because you, what you need to do basically is you remove the existing battery cover. Yep, the hinged battery cover. Yeah, from the body of the hick right. using the screwdriver. That lets that come off. Then you fit the extender yep. onto the side of the hick using two screws into the existing hinge pin and a screw that goes through there and goes into the original screw hole. Yep. That then fixes the extender housing to the body. Then you put the original door back onto the, the new front of the battery housing. And instead of using the little CR123s, this size, 850 milliamp hour, instead you use these, which are 16650s. 2500 milliamp power. So, so one of these is roughly three, three times, times one of these. Yeah. Brilliant. So, so that should essentially increase the run time to about four and a half hours. Brilliant. So you're roughly... As opposed to, as opposed to one and a half hours. Right. So with, with two of these in here, instead of two of these... You're going to get about four and a half hours run time rather than about one and a half hours run so time. So you've tripled your run time. Yeah. Brilliant. That's nicely made. And I think the, the kit... I think the kit is about $40, but you'll have shipping to pay on top of that. Yes. So, I mean, it's not, I'll have to be brutally frank, it's not the most beautiful thing ever. No. And it does kind of stick out the side a bit. Yeah. But it does the job. Yeah. And it's... I mean, of course, the other alternative is to use a power bank. Yes. But I don't like loose cables hanging about anywhere. No. So this, is a, for me, is a better solution, but it may not be a solution for everyone. Right, okay. So, and these are roughly $40 uh, each? Roughly $40 plus, um, plus, plus shipping. Right, brilliant. Okay. So, a uh, little tip for all you users of um, Hike Micro Thunderscopes. So, all of the, all of the Thunders, it, well, basically any of the Hike Microscopes that use that flip-up door and two CR123s, then this ex battery extender will, will work. Brilliant. Thanks, Bruce. Thanks very much for watching. Lots more, as you can tell, lots more coming soon. Review of the Hype Micro PQ50L, at least one video on that, probably, possibly two. Review of the Zabroya Kozak rifle. I'm already editing review of the night vision laser rangefinder binoculars from Custom Hunting, loaned, kind of loaned by Ash. Loads more in the pipeline and coming soon is next. Thanks again.